Conception is a hard mime I released at the end of last year. It all starts with the main character talking to a girl on the school rooftop. The girl claims that she is pregnant and does not know who the father is. I'm, um, well, I'm pregnant. Huh? It's true. I'm having a child. Well, the show is off to a great start. Slightly different than most of its genre. But their conversation is abruptly interrupted by some magic circle in the sky that teleports them to another world. Whoa. Lately, every anime main character seems to find himself in an alternative reality. Guess it's the easiest way to make him attractive and overpowered. Speaking of which, Itsuki isn't exactly handsome or anything, but he's above average in looks and rather open in approaching girls, which will come in handy later on. As they find themselves in this alternative reality, all of a sudden a jinn attacks with no warning, and yet somehow our protagonist pulls a katana to thin air and strikes his opponent down with ease. Either he's done this before or this is the first sign that the show is trying to make him overpowered. I choose the latter. The plot starts to kick in at this point and it seems that this new world he finds himself at the moment desperately needs his help. Yes, of course. Here's the best part though. His main mission as of this moment is to impregnate 12 zodiac maidens to create an army of obedient children to help him in the battles to come. A conservative's wet dream. So the protagonist is off on his quest of wooing the maidens into conceiving children with him. Let's take a closer look at our girls. Hmm. Nothing are above 8, but personality counts too, so I guess I kinda like the scorpion for her little brother complex. I have some apples if you'd like one. How about it? I'll peel it for you. Or should I just rub it a bit and feed it to you one bite at a time? Um, that would be amazing. You think you could bake it? <laughs> What did you just say? You sounded like my little brother. I was like having him back for a second, hearing the way you said that. And the church lady? She seems calm and pure, but in reality has some hardcore sadistic fantasy that our protagonist eventually has to endure. Oh my, could that present be for me? Well, yeah, this is. Just, here you go. Gosh, what a surprise! I'm impressed, Itsuki. I'm not sure how, but you obviously understand me very well. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the roleplay from the OP? Four! You can call me Autumn. I am a maiden of Aries. By the way, why is Aquarius a little girl? I'm Colette and I'm a baker. Although today I guess I'm the maiden of Aquarius. But still though, please come buy some bread. That's my celestial sign and I'm kind of disappointed by my representative. I myself much prefer the fairy tale counterpart. Here we go! Open oh, gate of the water bear! Get lost, you two! So he has to form strong personal bonds with these 12 zodiac maidens for them to open their hearts and legs for him. Let's have a look at just that. Here it's kinda obvious that character development is purely executed. Not because the girls don't have distinct looks and interesting personalities. They are the only reason I keep watching to begin with. The problem is the lazy way the core of the anime, you know, interacting with these chicks, is executed. They are the most uninteresting and, to be honest, puzzling scenarios our protagonist could have come up with. To name a few, she was one of his friends since before arriving at this weird other world, so it stands to reason that they are more loose in interacting with each other. For a few moments it looked as if the writer might try some romance or something. Other chicks, for example, Gemini is basically one maiden with split personalities, and that's it. After half an episode dedicated to her only, we learn nothing else that we didn't know from her introduction or from simple deduction. She changes personalities when she is in stress or gets Why hit. Why are you being so mean? Oh no! Hey, bastard! What the hell did you do to Lilith? What? Her whole conversation with the main character can be simply summarized as him being skeptical of her premonitions and for some reason she accepts to make a star child with him. The one thing I liked the most was when Itsuki accidentally makes the Lion Maiden tumble and hit her head. Huh? Now, any normal person would have called her retainers for help and waited for her to wake up and testify that it was all an accident, but not our main character. It made more sense for him to kidnap and lock her up in the basement. Now, as much as I sympathize with his action, I can't stop but ask myself, why complicate the things to this level? He's also giving her food while wearing a Shia LaBeouf mask. To, um, make things easier? Get away! Go! Get out! Don't you dare get close to me! Oh 
Okay, tell me who you are and what it is you're planning to do with me. Wouldn't all this secrecy make her even more uncomfortable? And judging by her hunger, I'd say she was there for a few days. Isn't she like a noble rich woman? How come there is no third party? The protagonist will be in real trouble in a more realistic turn of events. But if this is true identity and express concern for her health. You're gonna die at this rate! Yeah, well, why would you care? I get that. But my intention to help you is honest, I swear. Please believe me. What? The maiden can't do anything but fall in love with the guy that held her captive and starve her to near death. If only this would work in real life too. Hold the girl you like captive, give her food, and then she'll fall in love with you. <sighs> Gotta make room in my basement. There's one major problem throughout the whole anime, and it's not the concept or the setup, but rather the lack of fan service. Not exactly the edgy moment. You see, when you make an anime with a premise of having the main cat literally impregnate 12 maidens, it should have been a given to incorporate a little nudity and other scenes. The anime seems restricted by its imposed limits on how much of the female body they can actually animate. Sometimes fan service can feel tied on to appeal to a wider demographic, but here it is desperately needed to enhance the experience. I'd go as far to say that it feels as if a big chunk of the anime is missing, like taking the action scenes from a superhero movie. With a title that implies intercourse, it kind of feels empty without some real nudity. I'm of course not advocating for hentai, but some daily scenes, the likes of The Love Roar or The XD, should have been a must when they decided to adapt an anime based on this particular premise. It might sound weird, but it cheapens the character development. With each girl he encounters, the protagonist has to find a way to convince her to bear his child. It may sound superficial and simple minded, but that's part of the mission to save the world. So it is a noble cause, but the primary objective of interacting with these 12 maidens is the conception of children. The act of uniting with the girl should be the culminating of their bond and trust they form together throughout the episode. So it was very disappointing to see it being handled so poorly. It often feels rushed and considering there is no nudity or naughty things to speak of, the culminating point of their emotional journey is basically them staring at each other on the bed for 10 seconds. I'm gonna make you the best star child ever. Well, you're being surprisingly aggressive. Duh, of course I am. Maiden of Leo. What the heck did you expect? <laughs> You know, it's funny, I'm so nervous, now that it's the real thing. Oh, Itsuki, you're so sweet. But I do wonder if you already guessed my little secret a long time ago. There's so much more he could have learned about the girls in this moment. What turns them on? What they think is embarrassing? Where are the sensitive spots? What they fear or want? So much more character development could have been done here. It works both ways, the perverts get what they want and we get a complete character arc of each girl. A wasted opportunity. The girls are the main focus of the anime, aren't they? Getting to know their bodies is also part of who they are. Right before the ending, something else worth mentioning happened. Itsuki decides to reward his female familiar for her loyalty by undergoing a secret ritual with her too. Yeah, the main character impregnated a flying raccoon. No, it's not like that at all! <laughs> this anime has issues. Okay guys, this rating is gonna hurt. Conception gets a 5.7 out of 10. The anime had the meat concept, saving the world by impregnating 12 zodiac you representatives. You have already full, okay? <laughs> All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Sounds amazing, I know, but all the flaws I pointed out, missteps, puzzling decision, and missed opportunities have downgraded the experience. Not to mention the painfully unoriginal Mr. Stan and Nice Guy protagonist couldn't attend an engaging conversation with any of the girls, which is the main focus of the anime. This is their biggest mistake. If you know your main character is shit, maybe you should focus more on the conception rather than the conversation. Someone, get back there and start the music! <laughs> 